I mean, we played hard. There was a lot of mistakes, a lot of mental errors, a lot of undisciplined plays that we got to get correct during this week. But besides that, I mean, you can see the potential of what we can do and how great we can become. I mean, me, myself, I don't, I don't really say nothing much to them because, you know, other people will say something or a coach will say something. And I don't want to get in nobody's head. I just want them to forget about the play and move on and let's, let's play the rest of the game. But kind of on the flip side of that, what do you say to the team to make sure that that does not continue to linger in everybody's mind so that that one or two plays doesn't affect the whole rest of the game? I mean, we keep putting it in people's heads that don't affect it. I mean, they, I, they should get it. I mean, we got to go on to the next play. We got to play the next game. This is the only focus. We ain't worried about the last game no more. So we're ready, ready to fix our corrections and move past it. First game in front of a, a full memorial in a long time. How much have you been looking forward to getting? Man, you know, this is probably like, I don't, I don't know how many first games I had here, but you know, that first game always, the atmosphere is always great. So I can't wait. No, nah, yeah, I like Miles. I mean, he moved like he wasn't even hurt. Like, I like how where he left off at. I like where he's starting. I like what, how mature he's growing. I like the football player he's becoming today. So sharing the reps with him or having them in while we in or whenever we tired, I mean, it just give us an extra body to make us go full go, you know? You say he's maturing. How have you seen that kind of play out? Where, where is he maturing? I mean, his mental state, his IQ on football field, his everything, his physicality. Everything. I mean, he's being a better player on and off the field. Which season that that cornerback battle that job and I guess what you make of the job that Quentin did during camp and, and how he played that I mean, you know, everything ain't really finalized. I mean anything can happen any day, any game, any practice. I mean everybody gotta be ready from the second stream to the third stream to whoever. I mean, we only everybody gotta know the playbook. You never know when your name's gonna get called, when your opportunity is gonna come to shine, because you know it's a small one and you get the opportunity you don't wanna mess up. I mean, you know, at the end of the day, at the end of the day, it's still football. I mean, it's not much more you can practice and watch film. It's not much more anything you can do but detail your work and, and be the best that you can be at your position group and, and then come collectively as a team and, and let us go out here and get this win. Do you like the bounce back so far, I mean, from Saturday? Yeah, I mean, everybody... Sunday after Sunday, I mean, it should be off your mind. I mean, we got another week coming up. We got one more game. I mean, each week, I mean, it's only one game. We're not worried about the next game. We're not worried about the past. We just got to execute the week we're coming up with. Fordham's an FCS school, but, you know, they're going to be excited to come in here. Do you, do you look at every game as you guys got a lot to prove no matter who it is? No, nah, for sure. I mean, every game we got something to prove. I mean, why wouldn't we? You know what I mean? We haven't put out there that we're just top team or nothing. So, like, every game got to be proven. I mean, they're not going to come in here and lay down. They're going to want to come in here and beat us too. So, you know what I mean? we got to put our foot on their necks and uh, execute the game plan.